Hello and I'm welcome. So sorry about the technical uh, problems, but now now we are uh, online. So uh, we have like uh, 20 minutes to go through. So accelerating time to uh, marketing embedded uh, devices, and then it's like kid learning. So uh, my background is that. Um, I started the coding like 90s and, and then project management system architecture and, and doing like a lot of like embedded uh, work and, and different areas working with like the software process improvement, uh, the, the uh, methodologies uh, and, and practices and then kind of like thing. Then now last six years I have been like heading the European services in Qt company. So this is just like my, my findings and learnings. Uh, for you uh, to, to, to see that the, what you should consider when you are doing the devices with the kid. So, kid, um, the best thing is that kid is like powerful technology. You can do multiple things. You can see the demo areas and, and, and so on. Then the key thing is, is when, when you are doing the, the projects that is time to market. So when you design your product release in maybe like next year or four years, it depends on what you are planning to make. So can you make that on time? So we know that it's always like in software project that software projects are always late. I, yes and no, <laughs> I strongly disagree. If you do right things, then, then you can control actually that the, you can reach the, the, the market on time. And then, the key question is here that the, we, we are getting like quite many calls when companies are maturing the, 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 uh, the product that the, can we help them and, and then yes we can help them but doing something here and then typically then the, the mistakes, let's go through that a bit like typical mistakes what our customers are doing, they, are, they have done that in, in here when they are making the design or implementation. So, there's several reasons for that, and, and then of course it would be much much cheaper to, to fix it here than when the, all the like cost and investment are done here, and, and then is, this will be delayed. So this is the, the thing that uh, the um, we will should like the, the focus in, in our project. So of course the first thing is that uh, how in first place how can you can uh, achieve that original time to market on time. And the second thing is what was, was our topic, that how you can accelerate that. So how, how you can even squeeze that it's, it's even faster. So I just divided my presentation in two parts. So the first one is that typical symptoms are that the, uh, the, the performance requirements are, are not met. So typically that the frame rates, the, the requirements are 60 frames per second or that it's a smooth. So, but when you put like high load in that hardware and a complex UI, so it might drop in the below the six uh, frames per second. And then of course there's multiple reasons for it. And, uh, but this, this we see quite often. And uh, changing the views, it might take time. So when you have that screen, so customer expectation today is coming from the smartphone tablet, so it needs to be immediate. So you can de definitely do that with the queue, but you need to do the design and an implementation in such way that it's, it's the fast. And then, then the startup time, there's like the another talk today or was tomorrow that how do you can just build a fast booting system with the queue. So this kind of like one second range, two second range, it depends on the hardware configuration. So, but if you just take out of the box and you include everything and, and then depending on your solution, so it, it might take time. And then of course the wish is that, especially for like, if you have like motorbikes or something that you will sit on and you put the uh, power on that you could see immediately cluster in, in, your, in your device. But the same, same industrial machines or, or, or different kind of like things. Memory is one of the things that uh, it might run out, especially in the embedded devices. So in the PCs, you can just add more memory and, and it's, it's, it's much easier. So when you start solving these problems like late in the program, then, then you are like late and, 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 and big, big problem. So the quick question is that how we end up here. So 
typical pitfalls when we see that the, the hardware is not powerful enough for the designed UI. So if you give your like UI for, for example, like design company who is making this kind of fancy UI, uh, making some, taking some example of the, the tablets or something, and then, then at the same time, in, in your company, you are discussing about the bill of materials, and then the, they are saying, that, okay, we need to like optimize the bomb cost, so don't use the like, highest level of the hardware, but use this low level. But if this doesn't match, that, that uh, the graphic designers are making just kind of like UI, which doesn't run in that like low end or mid range hardware, then oh, it's the project already doomed in the in the in the day one. So it's let's let's go that how to how to solve it. Then the uh, architecture. So I I see in our team. So we are seeing this kind of like that. It's not like making the right way, and then typically is that they have been some doing some demo, then the, the proof of concept, and then continuing that to the product. And, and sometimes it's, it's totally fine. The system and the, they are really like skilled engineers uh, who can do it and, and can do it. But sometimes it might make sense to, to throw it that away and just use part of it and, and then, then uh, start from the scratch. So to, to, when, when you are like, especially when you are new with the Qt, then how to, how to make it that like efficient coding solution. Um, then the, even the architecture is the right way, so then, then the implements. Are you doing the implementation in such ways that it's, it's optimal uh, to utilizing the, the resources of your hardware and, and, and software? And, and then, like I said, so not considering that technical limitation when doing the UX design. So it's, it's very important then, then that the, when the UX designers are doing their graphics, that you can deploy that in the target hardware and you can see the results at the same day or at, at least the following day. I remember like five years ago, one company said to me that it takes for them two months when the graphic designer has done the graphics they can see that in the hardware. And, and it, <laughs> it wasn't about the QT tool thing, but it was the internal process, how did they do it, and then the deploying that to the hardware. So in technology wise, you can do that like easily with the Qt. But just like, I, I don't want to make that too complex, but basically when you start to do projects, so uh, it's often recommended that please do the proof of concept. So, Gather your product requirements. Uh, what are the use cases? Do you probably have some uh, concept design of your uh, product, and, and and see that how how that uh, the use cases run through the wireframe or something that concept design, and then think about like the hardware. Do you need the GPU? Probably, if you want to have like fancy UI, but if you have like industrial uh, looking uh, view. Uh, and then control panel, there's just a few buttons. Probably you don't need to even the GPU. But then what you want to build, and then putting that in the proof of concept and then running that in target hardware. Of course, sometimes the target hardware is difficult to, to get it, if, especially if you are planning to, to use some like new, new hardware that is not available, but then taking some reference, re reference hardware in the si same um, uh, category that uh, you, can, you can do it. And, and, then run those like worst graphical use case scenario in, in your hardware and see that is, is that like reaching 60 frames a second or not. And if you do, are doing this in the early in the project and you already have a findings that it doesn't work, then of course it's good to like then to see that, okay, do, do I have like bad implementation? Do I need to optimize my implementation? Do I need to like simplify the UI or do I need to upgrade the, the, the hardware? So these kind of questions early in the project, so uh, it's, it's very, very fruitful uh, in the success for the, for the, for the project. And, and then I just put it like architects uh, planning there, the proof of concept, like I said, so when, when you are doing the proof of concept, then stop for a while and then think about that, is this like right way to, to, to continue with the, with the architect that, that I can build a solid foundation of, of my future product and platform? Or do I need to like re rethink something? 
and then, then continue with the, with the implementation and constantly deploying. But this kind of like the approach that doing these kind of like uh, things, what, what I call is that the, it's, it's the risk management. So basically it's, it's that you manage the risks. I know that there's like uh, different kind of like project methodologies and practices and a lot of companies are doing the agile development nowadays and, and that's totally fine but somehow manage your risks. So sometimes even the refactoring is not enough, but you should like see that can, can, I, can I continue my development and I will be successful at the end of the day. So seeing that the, uh, identify those like bottlenecks and, and then, then actually doing some like mitigation actions in your planning that uh, not just like identifying that, okay, yeah, we knew, knew that and that happened. But it doesn't help if, if you haven't, haven't thought about that, how to go to forward. Um, proof of concept we already discussed. Uh, then that uh, your design and implementation are done with the good uh, coding practices. And then, then, then some planning, project planning, but the technical planning. Just, you need to just stop for a while and think about that. Uh, because it seems that a lot of companies are just rushing after milestones. They don't have time, especially when, when the milestones are late and don't have time to stop and, and think that, okay, this is wise, wise way to go forward. Then um, how to accelerate time to market. So how to get like even more speed in your, in your development. So basically the, um, if you don't have like enough skilled resources in, in your company or team, so um, you could ask uh, from the kid company or partners or somebody that, uh, okay, is that like making sense? Is this like right way to do it with like the, uh, with the kid? So we have like quite often the customers asking like uh, two days workshop with the customer premises that uh, can, can we check the architects and then we, we give the findings and recommendations and, 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 and so it doesn't repeat like long, long commitment. And the code reviews also that the, the code is done in, in such a way that uh, you can read those. So for example, the, I, I mentioned like changing the views. So if you do the coding in that way that you are building your view and then you are putting the things there that are not even the, the central focus when the vendor UI is coming, so the user is seeing the, seeing the view. So of course, what is the first thing you want to s that the customer is, or the end user is seeing in that UI? So then build that in, in that it's, it's visible, not just doing some other like uh, small things around the screen or bottom top of the screen, but uh, to get the focus. So, and then using like uh, lazy loading to load. Uh, the, the other things and how much you are using the, in those things in the memory and how much you, you will need to load. But this is kind of like the, the efficient way to do the coding. So just because thinking that uh, loading something it takes time, whatever is the technology, whatever is the hardware, and if you are like multiple things, then just putting that, uh, the, the order, order in, in place. And of course, like this kind of like white like few customers are using the profiling tools in an effective way. So when the, it takes time, so why not to use the profiling and see that, okay, there that this time is spent, so maybe I need to like check that and then dive, take deep dive in those like the things, things in, the, in, the, in the code section. And, and uh, the special, so um, we, we, we are doing those kind of the, like I said, so if you don't have like own resources in your company, so we are happy to help that uh, somebody from our company is coming and then and, and, uh, having the workshop and then tackling those issues, issues with, with your company. And, and then uh, if, if you have like new team with the kids is learning, uh, training is good, if what is even better, what, what is like in quite many customers are using that they, they are taking like one person as a, like the, the Q specialist in their team. And, and then that person is like coaching them that, okay, don't do this way and do it that way. So 
they want to build they they you know how in their organization and then the, these kind of external specialists who knows like one month three months period so it can hugely uh, speed up the development so but yeah that's that was my short uh, presentation and then like the the proactive uh, way is that like top tips is that uh, think about proactive not like reactive so if you are just struggling with the problems I know that the coding is like problem solving how to do that but uh, just uh, seeing that okay it probably it makes sense that you are unsure that is this architecture or implementation the right way then ask someone who can who have the, the, the knowledge and, and can he'll help you with that so yeah thank you that ends my presentation so we don't have time to questions because the technical problems but anyhow I'm 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 I'm, I'm in, in in here like today and tomorrow so thank you